sér krummi ef þestjel Ett neg bende gokken vel Flöj úr fjalla gjóðu Flöj úr fjalla gjóðu All right. <laughs> so you can see I finished the straps. Um, the only difference is I've painted some highlights on here. Mm -hmm. And did that with a loaded brush and uh, some of the original color in the back. Uh, also here, it's quite nice to actually paint on the highlights a bit more um, precise to uh, make it match the rest of the detail level. Mm -hmm. um, yep. I mean, very simple, didn't take long. Yeah. Hand. So, hand. Hands hand. are quite important. Yes. Um, especially this here on the front, the one in the back, you can see I just painted a little highlight on the top. Um, I didn't actually um, paint uh, a lot on the back, um, just one dark, darker shadow, because um, the way she holds the, uh, the shield is... Um, it will you'll just, see nothing of the head. Yeah, you will see nothing because it will be hidden in, in there. Mm -hmm. um, now, um, hands, um, we sometimes say, are the second most important part of the miniature um, after the face. Yeah, um, because uh, you can tell a lot about the, uh, the setting and the, the story of the figure itself uh, with, with the hands. So, um, for her, we just want to make sure that the hands are definitely not uh, as bright as the face, mm -hmm. but... Uh, trying to achieve more uh, color from that region. Um, I, you can see I've added some of the, um, some of the um, red beige on the palette. And as you remember from the face, we mixed that with some black to gray it down quite a bit. And a little bit of white. And for the lower part of the um, the um, chin, also add some red. We also need a little bit more of that red in the hands because it's a lot, a uh, lot more. Uh, we have a lot uh, more distance between the face and the hand, and we don't want that to be as light as here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and start with the base tone. You can see the paint consistency is rather thick, it uh, covers very well. Um, I'm just thinking of uh, whether I've painted on the, the, at least this side here on the figure. Mm -hmm. um, so you know where the lights are? Yeah, I know where to place the lights exactly. Also, I can uh, better check back with the contrast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure that's dry. So we'll take some of that base color and add quite a fair amount of white and a little bit more of the um, red beige to make it a bit warmer. Okay. And then we turn to give big highlights first. Okay, we have to let that dry uh, without using the blow dryer because that would push the pigments just a little bit too much over the side. You can see it uh, collects quite a lot there in front of the knuckles. Mm -hmm. but, uh, that's just what we want. We want to create a bigger highlight there. Okay, and with the same color in the brush still, uh, we will 
just draw a highlight here over the edge of the finger. And again, accentuate those knuckles a little bit, not as big as much as the top ones, but yeah. And we will uh, still go brighter here on the on these top ones. So we're mixing the color with a bit of white on the tip of the brush. And if we mix it with darker, Make sure that is dry. Um, you can see the contrast is a lot uh, too strong uh, from this part here to that part. Mm -hmm. But as we need to lighten up the whole top area here, um, we will just place a highlight here and then uh, feather it out to the side so we get a lighter general impression of the skin. We will let that dry on the on the top plane, and in the second go, we will place it here. It's a bit thinner. Clean the brush, and pull it down. Yeah, you can actually see how that. Um also binds the previously very strong contrast together. We can use another another go on. Yeah, another go of that. And I still uh, need to get this upper part here lighter. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a little bit of a reverse process to, to Maybe what what I learned in the kind of early two thousands or so, it's that you're not working up the highlights and working up the shadows. What you're doing is you're really creating very very strong highlights um, and uh, well strong contrast in general, and then you're glazing it over with a, a destination color if you want. Um, it's, it's a little bit reversed and it's uh, much easier and faster. You can see on the palette cam I've added a little red to the palette because mm, we want to introduce a little bit. A stronger red around the uh, shadows of the knuckles. Mm -hmm. mm, a little bit as uh, you've seen maybe in other videos of ours, like we did also on the Papa Jumbo, for example. On the elbow. On the elbows, also on the on the uh, fingers. Mm -hmm. um, for sure, we're not going to to do it as strong as we did <laughs> in the Papa Jumbo. Um, that would look very fun. But still, I think a little bit of warmth in there it's quite good because it indicates the tension of the hands okay, with the clean brush pulling the red a little here into the shadows Yeah, it's, it's very subtle. It's uh, it's really adding a nice color contrast also with a little bit of green there. And it also ties it back uh, together with the face. Yeah, I will try with a color that is in between the, the red I just used and the highlight color um, to soft it out a little to the top.
I'm also painting now little lines with the mesh to just give them a little bit of texture. Also, like like small wrinkles, but just very very subtle. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm, and one thing we also added in the in the face in that area here is um, the Raglan flash shade from Games Workshop. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit warmer, so that might be suitable here for this area of the hand so to to give it a nice and warm shadow. We have to wait how that looks once it's dry. Well, this dries, we will um, also increase the shadow between the fingers because we need quite a distinct line there. Line there. Um, so I'm mixing some of the um, strong tone with a little bit of tank brown to create a warm, not as bright as tank as the pure tank brown color. Uh, it's a very important shadow work right there, and you can see just with a few brush strokes how that volume builds up. Yeah. So I'm going to look at the lower side here. So I think the um, the overall like it, um, but the contrast is it's I must admit it's a bit stronger on cam. But the contrast here between the warmth here and that cold color up here, the cold mm -hmm. colder highlight color, is a bit too strong for my yeah. eyes. Yeah. Um, so I'm mixing a bit of the Reckland flash with uh, some of my highlight color to introduce it here to the to the area back there. Yeah, put a little more life in that. It's a little too cold. Yeah. Water, it? And then just with the wet brush. So here on the top, we, there is an additional uh, wrinkle where I want to also place a, a small highlight on. Um, it's from the hand holding tight onto that X. Ah, it mm. kind of pushes in a little bit, or yeah. out, outward actually. So, just getting a little bit darker color in there. Just need to make sure we Still have that clean separation line between the. So I think the on this tier they have like the color. Is it just the uh, dark tone? Yeah. Or oh, strong tone, sorry. Yeah. I knew there was something wrong. I couldn't figure out what it was. <laughs> um. Okay, and while we paint the hand here, we will also add uh, some highlights on the top part of that green sleeve. I wonder how many people have that song in their mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> I did. At least I 
least now a lot of people will have it. done this on black it would have been just too too weird too strong yeah and also we, we don't have a lot of black uh, in the miniature the yeah. miniature is overall a, quite a warm miniature yeah yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very pretty indeed so yeah i think um i would just continue like that with the inner side of the hand just i would be a little bit darker mm. um same as uh, we have done here on the side of the face. Mm -hmm. Because that is all in the shadow. And it's just basically the thumb and then... Yeah. Okay, I guess you want to do that off cam mm -hmm. by the sounds of it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay, and then uh, after this uh, we will actually begin with the shield. Yes, we will begin with the shield. Uh, we will keep the metal parts um, to do them all in one go. Yeah. And um, the shield would be very interesting because we will have um, some nice weathered wood. Uh, I think it's something we didn't show uh, until this point yeah. in the academy, so I'm really happy to show that. And uh, we will also have some normal wood, which is also quite nice to have that in the scale. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Fly your fiatla, go the fly your fiatla, go the fly your fiatla, go the. 